Hey, it's Kev from Blender Binge. In this short video, I want to show you the very basics of using physics, which is this little tab over here. And we're going to see some pretty cool things happen. So let's go. So without telling you much, I just want to show you because this is a video. So I'm going to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go and create a grid and I'll scale this grid up. And then I'm going to go ahead to, and I'm going to create uh, Suzanne. And I'm going to pull Suzanne up. And now I'm going to do something magical. I'm going to go over here to this little bouncy ball check thing tabby over here. Okay, it says physics. I'm going to hit physics, and I'm going to select my grid, and I'm going to hit rigid body. And I'm going to go to Suzanne and I'm going to hit rigid body. And now on my grid, I am simply going to go to type passive and watch what happens. I hit play and Suzanne falls onto my floor and settles. Okay. Now to explain what just happened, we set properties called rigid body dynamics. A rigid body means it's going to assign a collision object to each one of these objects here, and then they're going to be affected by gravity. So it simulates actual physics in the real world. So if I hit play again, you see she falls and hits the floor, slides, and comes to a rest. Pretty cool. If I were to make a few of these, so I'm just hitting Shift D, going in, and making a few. All right, and they all have that rigid body. You could see as we select it, it's highlighted in green, and they have this rigid body thing set. I hit play now. They all fall, and boom, they interact with each other. So let me show you something even cooler. And I'm going to pause the video and set something up. So hold on. So I've gone ahead and created a little bowl and a little candy. Call it a Reese's Pieces or an M&M. &M. Okay. And what I'm going to do is for the bowl here, I'm going to add a modifier. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm going to go here to, to this little tab. And I'm going to say rigid body. And I'm going to set that to passive. And then I'm going to take my little candy here, my M&M chocolate thingy, and I'm going to go ahead and say rigid body and leave that active and, and that's fine. Okay, And then I am simply going to duplicate that. I'm going to select that, hit shift D, okay. and then shift, select both, shift D, and I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to pause the video and duplicate this a lot. Okay, so I've gone ahead and duplicated this quite a bit. And you can see that I started with one. I added in a rigid body. Okay, I gave it a rigid body, and then I just duplicated it a whole lot. Just by hitting Shift-D and grabbing and grabbing groups and duplicating them and so on and so forth. It took me about a minute. So now, with that selected, I don't even need it selected. All right, I make sure that my bowl here is set to. Uh, now I'm going to leave it as con a convex hull and see what it does. I have a feeling this is not going to work as I, as I intend. So I'm just going to hit the play and you're going to see the experiment with me. I'm going to hit play and now I wait. I think I added too much for my computer. See how slow it's going? This is calculating right now calculating all of these things falling so i'm going to let this play i'm going to pause the video let it play and then i'm going to show you as it records down here with this little orange thing what happens okay i'm back and now let's take a look at what happens boom is that cool no it's not not cool 
because it's not going into the ball. Okay, we made a ball and it should be going into the ball and it's not going into the ball. There's a reason for that. And this comes up pretty often and there's always questions about this. It's because the shape of this guy was not set to the actual geometry. It's set to convex hull, which is basically just drawing a whole thing around this and ignoring this little cutout bowl part. So if I change this from convex hull to mesh, and I run my simulation again by going back here and hitting play, you'll see it's going to start calculating now. And it's going to take a little while because I'm on a slower machine here right now. And you'll see what happens as I as I let this run a little more. So I'm going to pause the video and then show you what it does. Okay, I'm back. And my simulation, I baked out 90 frames. And I'll just go ahead. You know what? I'm going to go in here and end this end little thing. And I'm going to hit 90. Okay, and, and now I only just have these 90 frames to worry about here. So I'm going to hit play and show you what happens now. Watch this. Whoa. See that? That's because I set this bowl. Shape is mesh. So it actually takes the entire mesh and it just draws its boundaries around the mesh. So you get this little opening here. It's not just approximating it, drawing this convex hull around here. It's actually calculating collision with the actual object itself. So you want, if you want this kind of effect, okay, and you have something with a concave surface, don't use, don't use convex hull over here. Use mesh. Right? So that's the basics of rigid body dynamics. Okay, so you can go ahead and shade this, and I can make this look like it's you know a bowl of M&Ms. And if I were Van Halen, I could just have brown M&Ms or take out all the brown M&Ms. But I'm not Van Halen. So I'm not going to do that. So this is, this is rigid body dynamics, and it's one of the very basic things that you'll start playing with as you go into this tab. Now other videos, I'm going to go over cloth, I'm going to go over fluid, which there's a whole lot of fluid, there's a whole lot of cloth, there's a whole lot of stuff with smoke. Uh, I could do on soft bodies, I could do tons of videos on just this, and I probably will. There's a lot of stuff in here for visual effects work. And it's really, really awesome. Okay, so I would go in here and play with this. Just set something up like this and go ahead and play. You don't have to have something as complex as a bowl, but go ahead and just play with this rigid body thing. Okay, watch the video again. See where I hit passive, where I hit, uh, you know, change the shape and, uh, and how I made things, you know, so... For example, you know, my floor is still there, it's still passive, my bowl is set to passive so it doesn't move when I hit play. And all these little guys here, I made one, I added this all to it, and then I just duplicated it, I don't know how many times, quite a few. And I get this really cool animation playing of the stuff falling into my bowl. Okay. So go in and play, and again, if you like this video, hit subscribe, hit like, hit that little bell notification, hit that little heart thing. I, I don't know what that heart thing in YouTube is, but it's pretty cool, so, so somebody hit that. That would be fun. So go ahead and play, and with that, we're going to close out this video. Thanks. See you later. Bye.